All right, people, welcome back. More Vitamin and Y. So today is Sunday, and that means that we are using New Balance Vectors. So hopefully I don't go against Fire Kings, because it seems like I'm good. I go against, whenever I use New Balance Vectors, I always go against Fire Kings. And it's just like, oh, I might as well quit, because there's no way in hell I'm going to be able to win. <laughs> You know, it's been a couple times, I, I it's, it's always u and Zectors, any other deck and I might be able to do something, but u and Zectors, I'm pretty much screwed. I'll go ahead and just set that. At least this can go into like a lava chain with this. Or a hot, red, or... What else am I running? No, just hot. Oh, and I'm running scrap. Okay. Shit, maybe, you, maybe even the next time, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, Fluffles. Alright, well that should be interesting. Fluffles are still not a very difficult opponent, I must say. Doesn't it have to be... Was that an edge of scissors that he searched for? Can I see the card that he searched for? You can search, add one edge. Uh, can... Are you... Search again? <laughs> I think it was sabers. Yeah, okay, it was. Okay, thank you. I didn't read because apparently it was the one door where a person could only search for one of them and he searched for something else and I didn't catch it, so I need to make sure. Oh, that's fine. Alright, vendor. So, you can discard one card, draw one card, reveal it if it's a photo. Special summon one monster from your hand, otherwise discard the card you drew. This card is interesting. It's one of the first Fluffle cards. You can discard him. Draw a card. Reveal that card. And you have to discard it. Okay. So, buy chain. But he doesn't mind. These guys, don't they like being a great bird? One, one of them likes to be in a great bird, is it? Is it? Yeah. I don't remember the scissors being so shiny. Like, that's what's catching me off guard. Like, holy crap. They don't even look like Suzu. They look like fucking lightsabers all glowing and shit. Mm -hmm. So you place one card from your hand to the top of the deck to special summon saber. And then I guess you can go ahead and uh, synchro shotgun. I mean, not synchro shotgun. Fusion Shulkin, oh my god, did I just say Synchro Shulkin? Neither one of them are tuners. Fusion Shulkin, if you have Polly, I guess go into, I don't know. I don't know who you go into. Some people say that their best one is Sheep, but Sheep's not the best. Sheep is good, because, you know, when it's destroyed, it comes back stronger and you really can't kill it. Sheep's not, Sheep's good, but it's not the strongest. The strongest is Tiger. Without Tiger, the deck, if Tiger can't pop it, then you can't deal with it, so. The thing is, I could go summon, summon Exiton and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and wipe his ass, but then the problem is he would get a search with Toy Vendor, which is fine, because at that point I'd still be up on resources. I'd still be a turn a little bit slower than I would like to be, though. I'm going to summon. What? Oh. You know, I'm I'm about to I'm about to neg him fucking five, so, but he'll plus one. So, you know, for me to be concerned with that, it's not even an issue. Like, that's, 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 just wipe it. So he's got a neg four. You sure he gets to search out with toy vendor? Yep. Sure he gets to search out with toy vendor, but I just wiped his ass. So I don't have to worry about this. Mostly, I don't have to worry about the back row. Armageddon Knight, Armageddon Knight, send pot into whatever. Let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, let's see that. So, not sure if he'd be able to get rid of my Exiton because he don't literally only have three. He'd have this. Whatever he searched off of this and then whatever he drew. So, he have three. So, maybe he can get rid of my Exiton. I don't know. So I'm going to go ahead and summon you. Send you. Activate pot. Give me that. I can give me that. I can give me that. I mean, uh, uh, these are literally all the same cards, so. I mean, I guess I'd get another Armageddon Knight. I don't know. No, Rhoda. 
because that's deck damage. At that point, I'd have the centipede and I have the revival, so yeah, I was already on my well on my way to kicking some uh, booty. Especially since every time he fusion summons, he negs. It's not like Shadal's where they, you know they go to the grave and you know they get their Shadal fusion back and, and they can play. To, no, it's not like that. So literally, he's like you know fusion shotgun my you know minimum two monsters with my card. So neg technically two just for me to go. All right, equip on equip pop. The you know struggles is real. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and run a search for uh, Armageddon. I Armageddon. No, Greffer, Greffer, because I got Phantom of Chaos. And I would like also like that in the graveyard as well, but Greffer. Greffer, go ahead and send me Hornet. And then I'm just gonna end my turn. I don't really feel like sending the Oasis right now. Is because if he has MST. I guess it would suck even more if I go, you know, summon centipede equip and he goes MST and then I don't get to unequip and pop and then search, so that would be even worse, right? My opponent is going to set some back row and then summon this dragon. Which sucks, because that's a pretty strong beater that I really do not feel like dealing with. I'll go ahead and foolish. Go ahead and send you Bell. If I would have got this card sooner, I would have sent the Oasis, but hey. Well, you know, right? Yep. <laughs> it's, a, it's one of my Yubel decks. Almost something. Okay. So the, the suck thing is, is that I would love to start picking out his back row, but I gotta I gotta kill his ground dry dragon. It sucks. It sucks. So I'm just asking for it and send a piece, of course. He's level three, but he's sixteen hundred. It's pretty strong for a level three. Even Armageddon Knight, level four, and he's only fourteen hundred. So. Right. Okay, equip you. I'm gonna go with effects plural. I mean, I guess I could throw the regeki at him. Right now, it's not even worth it. I'll just deal with the back row for right now. And I get to search for not drawing you. Awesome. Because I don't want to draw you. I don't like drawing fucking you bell over and over and over again. Like, number generator. If you want to put shit on top of my deck because I'm running out of run, put it like Dragonfly. Put it like Hornet. Don't put you bell. Don't. Don't. Just shut up. Go ahead and poke you for 16. At this point, I don't really care what happens to Centipede. That's fine. Card is slow anyway. Go ahead and set that. Go ahead. Is that an MST? No? Okay. No. If he draws an MST, I can tear it up. That's fine. I'll take that. So I'm going to go summon Dragonfly, equip and equip, pop, equip but summon. Equip and equip, pop, search, yeah. <sighs> like, no, I don't want to draw a fucking ultimate nightmare, then draw tear. Like, stop doing that. Fucking swear to God, I fucking hate DM for that. All the fucking time, just drawing you bell, drawing you bell, drawing you bell. Like, you know I run other cards in my deck besides fucking you bell. But it sure doesn't seem like it. All right, he just like fuck it. I'm gonna quit. He popped my mirror force. He popped my deep prison. Oh, like, he ate my deep. Like you're you're just too slow for me. Like though these cards, I don't give two shits about. Yeah. It's gonna go quit on quit. Pop that tackle that attack you. You know, no fucks given. Sure, I'll leave him because I got fucking oasis right here. So the shenanigans shall continue. All right, let's get another duel in this video. Seriously, I'm like, yay, I'm not gonna draw some nightmare, then draw a tear. Uh oh. Spanish. <laughs> oh. I'm so used to people saying, go look, have fun, that I almost, you know, automatically typed in you too, instead of actually typing in, like, hi or hello. Oh, he doesn't have an extra deck, so he's either using Cleese or something sacky along those lines. Well, I guess I'll go ahead and search. 
Give me Armageddon Knight. Armageddon Knight, I guess I want you to go ahead and send me along with Foolish, because literally I got fucking Debris Rekeki Foolish, so. <sighs> At least I didn't draw you bell, that's all I have to say. So, if I'm going against... I'm gonna send... You know what? I'm gonna send you bell. Send you bell. And I'm gonna send Hornet. That's I drew Debris Dragon, so literally I can go... Debris, summon Hornet, and I can go into Black Rose if I need to. So... He has a pretty high rating, right? So I'm assuming he's probably using Cleaves, or maybe, or maybe he is just trying to be sacky. I don't know. And now that doesn't reveal anything. Lots of people play up start. Looking like something sacky. Sucky! No? Oh, let's return to human face. It's just sounds. Okay, so he can't have more than three cards in his hand. Eh. Oh, it is something sacky. Is he really trying to make me gain life points? There is no other stipulation with that. Seems like... Okay. So, you are using something sacky. I just don't know what you're doing. Seems like you're just trying to gain life points and is it, is it Exodia? So Exodia, huh? Yeah, it's Exodia. That's Exodia. He's trying, and you're probably wondering, like, what's up with the... Really thought that someone with your high of reading wouldn't be using s such a scrubby deck. You're not even gonna do me. Like, you're not even gonna do me, so. <sighs> Look at that rating. Look at that rating. Even people with high ratings are still scrubs. Rating doesn't mean shit. Doesn't mean shit. St still, so, so you got that high rating with fucking scrubbiness? You tell me that you just got that rating because you fucking dueled fucking people. I'm gonna be on YouTube? Oh, I was about to say, I wanna be on YouTube. <laughs> I've never been on YouTube before. <laughs> I just wanted to check out his channel. I just wanted to see what his channel was. Then he would be on my channel. It'd be, it'd be like a YouTube section. Video inside of the video. Anyway, not gonna do against that scrub because he wasn't even gonna do me. Like I, I hate scrubby decks. It's just like you're not even dueling me. You clearly saw that he didn't care what deck I was using. It didn't matter. He wasn't interacting with me. It sounds pretty good. So I'm gonna get a nice send hornet, and then I got centipede right there. So overall, not a terrible hand. Just kind of sad to see someone with that such a high rating. I thought he, I, 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 I would rather him use the meta than. I'd rather him use Necros than use that. Oh, and I was just saying, I was just saying, let's not duel against fucking Fire Kings. Like, why? It's always this deck. Always this deck. Like, any other deck. Any other deck. I wouldn't, I really wouldn't even mind that much. I would still mind a little bit, but not that much. But this deck, like, I'm fucked. And it's always this one. Like, why has no one ever come at me when I'm fucking using, like, fucking Nouvelle Archreams? So when you destroy monsters, I, I, you know, I start getting pluses and shit. It's never, never. It's all. It's always the one where the deck where I, I want to destroy your shit. It's always the one where everybody's like, hey, it's Fire King time. Uh, <laughs> that hand wasn't bad either. This hand's not bad either. I know exactly what I'm gonna do. So, so I'll go ahead and activate that pot after I'm done doing everything. So I'm gonna get a knight. Right. Go ahead and send Hornet. Then go ahead and activate Pot. Let's see, do I want to run on? No, not really. Do I want a Foolish? I will take the Foolish. 
the reason why I'm gonna take the photos is because it's an additional send, which means that I'm gonna send you Bell, and then I can feel safe setting the call to Haunted. Because if he MSTs it, hey, there's terror. But if he doesn't MST it, hey, I got that call to Haunted ready to go ahead and summon back any of my insectors. So, it's a win win situation now. Go ahead. There's nothing wrong with win 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 situations. Just winning situations like Charlie Sheen. Black wings, all right, this is gonna be a difficult duel then. Because, you know, black wings have lots of back row. And I am much, 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 much slower deck than his. I mean, he's slow too, but he'll at least be faster than me, yeah. Well, I'm summoning, you know, one monster at a time and going, like, equip, unequip, pop. He's going, like, summon the black wing, special summon the black wing, summon this black wing, summon that black wing, attack you, clue, this, that, attack, punch you in the face, kick you in the nuts. <laughs> yeah. Wow, you didn't want to cut me in half first? Yeah, well, at least kiss me first. Wow, and then you didn't attack with Shura? fuck's wrong with you? You're doing it wrong. You're doing it hella wrong. Like, why didn't you attack with Shara? <sighs> I mean, I already know what I'm doing this turn, which is simply just gonna be summon centipede, equip, unequip, pop. Uh, I don't know what to pop, though. That's the problem. I really want to pop. I want to pop the Shur. The Shur needs to go because he can summon a monster with the Shur. Yeah. The whirlwind he can summon and he can get a search on if he has another black wing. This I'm not even worried about. I can take care of that later. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna summon summon centipede. Equip on equip, pop, search for dragonfly, and then dragonfly can handle the situation later. So I'll go ahead and do this. So, normal summon? Okay. So, if you want to go ahead and Icarus attack me, that's fine. Because I will literally just go chain, summon terror, and then terror will wipe you. So, right now I'm still in a pretty win win situation. The only time I'll be fucked is if I go centipede, effect, equip, and then I'm responsible to my equip. Then you Icarus attack me and the cent my centipede and my oh, hornet, and leave the call to haunted. No, because then I'd still be okay, because then I could just go, okay, activate call to haunted, summon back the centipede, equip and equip, pop. So, I'm still, I'm still in the clear. Like, I'm still absolutely in the clear. Oh, well, that'd be fuck it. That card was bottomless, which it didn't seem like it was, so. So. Effects. I'll go ahead and pop the sure, even though it doesn't seem like you know how to use it properly. Because you should have killed my Armageddon Knight. You couldn't have got it. You could have got an additional summon, but you didn't, so. I'll go ahead and destroy him. All right, no, we can just sit. You no, know, we can just sit here. Okay, it was Icarus attack. Okay, 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 okay. So hold on, hold on. Normal summon that. Put that back on top of the deck. Shuffle that up. Okay. S equip. Then what does it say? No, it's you. It's you. Once we turn. You can send this quick card, so I send it to the graveyard to target a card on the field and destroy it. So I'm going to unequip to target you. You chain Icarus attack. You're an Icarus attack tribute to your monster, which means I lose my target and then you destroy my two cards. Yes. Okay, 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 that's fine. Okay, that's fine. Okay, and then you're just going to quit. Like, I was sitting here trying to figure out how the, how the chain would go and all of that, and you're just going to straight up quit. Like, so you're gonna go Icarus attack, tribute that, I miss my target. You're gonna Icarus attack, tribute. It's like your two targets. I go chain, summon you bell, you destroy me, then I summon terror, yeah. So I've been still totally fine. And was, I was, like I said, I was thinking it was Icarus attack, and I was right to assume that it was Icarus attack, because it seems like that card is like a fucking magnet in Black Wings. You, you know, whenever I duel against Black Wings, it seems like they fucking always get Icarus attack, if they search for it. Well, I know where I got. Pretty much a 20 minute mark, but we'll go ahead and get another duel in because it seems like I can't even get a fucking decent duel in this video. 
So, one more. And this guy's high rated, so maybe he can bring home the bacon. Oh my god, I don't care. So, oh, got dragonfly. Yeah, overall, this hand is totally fine. This army get a knight, send hornet, and then next turn I just like start popping it, pop lock and dropping it. So we are totally fine. I'm not gonna set the oasis because it's really not worth it, especially since I'm getting knight has to be on the field to resolve in TCG standards. OCG, I don't think so. I think I know TCG. You have to be on the field to resolve your effect. Yeah. Same goes for even mandatory effects like uh, like Deneb. Even Deneb. TCG wise, he still has to be on the field. So we're going against Archfiends, it seems like. Or I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm not sure. But I see an Archfiend soldier. So I guess I should just assume that it's Archfiends, I guess. I don't know. Alright, well, we can summon Dragonfly, and Dragonfly can go equip, unequip, pop one of his back row, summon centipede, equip, unequip, pop the other back row, search for another centipede, XC into... Uh, Nightmare Shark? No. No. Giga Brilliant. Yeah, Giga Brilliant, detach, make himself stronger, and run over your Archfiend, so... Let's see if he got any back row, so... Almost summon. Okay. Okay. Fat. X plural and equip pop that one. And I will go ahead. Oh, it was bottomless. Whew! That snipage though. Because if it was any, if, it, if I hit the other card, oh, he's going to do Toronto. He's going to do Toronto. Wow, bottomless and Toronto. Bottomless and Toronto, people. Number generator said, here you go. And he was like, thank you. Bottomless and TT. You know what? I'd rather get TT than bottomless. Actually, you know what? No. Yeah, it's fine. Just beat me down with normal monsters. It's normal beaters. Oh, he's not even gonna play anything. All right. Well, then I guess I'll just go ahead and take the duel slow. So, just summon. Back. Quit. Back. And equip pop behind a little bit. I'll just go ahead and hit you. If that's all you're gonna do is you know summon beaters. I'll be fine. Oh, you're gonna gorge me. Oh, okay. Wow, it really does seem like you're trying to, you know, bring down my life points with your monster mesh beater deck. That's really, really all I'm seeing, so. Uh, that is fine. There is nothing to chain. There is no Ubel in there. I didn't, that was last duel that I put Ubel in there, not this duel, so. Tribute token to summon Caius. That's... That's just straight up inconvenience at the very least. So you telling me I'm actually gonna lose to this top decking motherfucker? Elp story. Oh, got the MSC. Then tribute for the Kai's Banish the other card. Luck. Oh, thanks. Thanks. That's totally what I fucking needed. All right. Well, I guess I'll summon Hopper. Equip on equip. Pop the gores and end my turn. I'll fucking take damage, but hey, at least you know I won't be taking as much damage. God, it's just like if he could have left me with at least one. 
I, I'd be whooping his ass right now if he would just leave me with at least one. One of them. I could have went, you know, activate Oasis, summon Dragonfly, equip and equip pop, summon, equip and equip pop, search, you know, I could have went off, but... And then, of course, I didn't draw into another revival card, so... You know, Limit Reverse would be nice, Call would be nice, nah. Like, alright, thanks. Let him draw into the upstart and then get rid of my shit. I am taking some serious damage. That's 700, and that's 1500. Ah, oh, yes. Well, the question is can I survive to that long? Like, summon Dark Greffer. Dark Greffer, I guess, use your effect. Let's see if this is Solemn Warning. If it's Solemn Warning, I'm fucked. So, let's see. So, if I summon Dark Greffer, use your effect. Wait, do we use your effect? This, all right. Summon Dark Greffer. Greffer. This will this will be seven hundred. So I'll still be alive. So as long as that backer is not something to stop me, I still will be alive. So that that's fine. I'm seven. Okay, watch it be Solemn Warning. <laughs> Okay. Ah, now the question is, do I want to do that? Do I want to pitch to send you bell? That is the question. Not really. Yeah, you know what I should. It's a safer play. Now, if that's an MST face down, then I'm fucked either way. And Armageddon Knight's gonna, not going to save me. Armageddon Knight's not going to be the hero. I would seriously just be top decking, so... If it's an MST and he hits me end phase, then I'm fucked either way, so. Okay. So now at least if he goes like tribute Caius for like a Caius or something, I can go ahead and train Oasis and then summon. The ne Necro bitch? Yep, Necrofear. Ouch. Say, am I literally gonna lose because my opponent here is fucking top decking? Sure does seem like it. It's 500. Grave and... I have to summon. Twenty-four attack. Right, so many bell and defense mode. Yep, up. Oh, I'm top decking. That's fucking awesome. Maybe I'll get lucky like him and actually top deck into some good shit. No, either way, I'm fucked. Either way, I'm fucked because if I don't draw something to tribute for Ebel, then Ebel is gone. But if I, you know, summon the only way I'm unfucked is if I draw into an injector. I I have to draw into an injector. And I didn't. Ah. I just hate how luck-based you go is. Like, fucking RJB0. That video actually pissed me off when he actually put out that video saying that you, there is no luck in Yu-Gi-Oh! You give my luck-based. Like, yeah, it is. Fucking card game. Like, that's why, there, in my opinion, there's no such thing as a, as the best Yu-Gi-Oh! player. Because you could be the world's best Yu-Gi-Oh! player using the best deck, draw a shit-ass hand against some crappy-ass deck, and end up losing. Like... I'm drawn to he drew into everything. Everything. And I'm drawn to shit. I'm in level eater in this deck. But I don't. There's really no reason to. I know it's an it's an insect. Now oh, you got it. Wow. Oh. I might have I would have fucking survived, but he had to top deck into that bitch and then that was just more than enough to be too much damage. So if he would draw then, you know. Not much, and I just, you know, take that, and then, you know, someone wastes, you know, Dragonfly, equip, on equip, pop, equip, on equip, pop, and, you know, come back into the duel, but nope. No, nope. you drew into everything, I drew into nothing. So that's awesome. <clears throat> anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and call it so, so, I hope that you guys enjoyed, so thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow using, uh, ULR trains. Alright, people, thanks for watching.